when we pulled into my driveway, uh, at the time I was remodeling the house that I was in, and there was a big dumpster in the driveway. At that point, Eric kind of snuck around the dumpster, came out behind me, put his hand on my neck, and threw me to the ground. And he got on top of me and he said, I could kill you. Just know I could kill you. You're dead to me. And I was, I was completely blown away, completely blown away. And I said, you need to, you need to remove yourself from my home. And this is not gonna be okay. You cannot reside in my home. And he would get right in my face and he says, what are you gonna do? You can't get rid of me. There's nothing you can do. I would find him in my daughter's room crying, crying and saying, you know, daddy's gonna have to leave. And you know, your mom wants me gone. It was playing a lot of games with the children. I've never dealt with it before. I've never seen it before. It, it, very extreme highs and extreme lows, and very little in between. Eric would have this look, this look in his eye I've never seen before. It was like a crazed animal. I feared for my life. I, at that point, realized that Eric was sick, and Eric was very unsafe, and I've never felt so much fear that I felt for two months of my life, that I slept with a blade in between my mattress, scared that he was gonna come up the stairs in the middle of the night and kill me in my sleep.